In real life, one man had already taken the first small steps towards creating what was to become the modern tourism industry here. Dinny, you're the only guide that the Cliffs of Moher has. Well, yes, I'm about the only guide. I'm a, an unofficial guide, I guess. So that really you're the only man here on the spot who can tell visitors uh, all the history of the cliffs? Well, I can tell them all the history because I've been here all my life and I know all about the cliffs. Well, I used to be coming here fishing up with the back here and I used to be meet, I used to come this way and I'd meet the people here and I used to stay staffed. They'd ask me an awful lot of questions. And finally, I used to come on my own then for the purpose after that. I used to get a few shillings once in a while. So you got yourself this uh, peak cap? Yes, I did. Why did you do that? Because it made me look more official. Dinny was the pioneer who led the way for all of the guides, traders and musicians who followed after him. He was also possibly the one man who certainly wouldn't have fallen for the Irish independence infamous April Fool's joke in 1998.